how did the, uh, the continued issue of the open records request and desire to obtain open records concerning Mr. Uh, Mr. Paul's search warrant and criminal investigations again. How did you next come into contact about with it and when? Speaking with Ryan Vassar, who by the t that time, April, May of 2020, he was overseeing open records as the deputy for legal counsel. Uh, I understood that a request had been filed, I believe it was with DPS, for additional materials relating to the Nate Paul investigation. All right, and, and the original time that you, you were, came aware of Mr. Paul seeking these records, whom was the open records request directed to, if you recall? My recollection is the State Securities Board the All first right. time around. So that one went off as you have described in your testimony. And then did you learn that there had been a second open records request, this time to another agency that was present in the search, this time DPS? Yes. All right. Had you had conversations in the past in which the Lieutenant Governor expressed his views of DPS? Excuse me, I think you mean the Attorney General? Pardon me, you're... You said the Lieutenant Governor? <laughs> I am listening very closely, <laughs> Counselor. That was only to see if you were paying attention, sir. Trust me, I'm now, not missing a word. Now, now that you've confirmed that you were, let me rephrase it. 